Hey, welcome to this Twilight Struggle gameplay video. If you live through the Cold War, or if you just find it a fascinating subject, then don't miss a minute of what's coming up. Hey, welcome. It's time to play another turn of Twilight Struggle. At least one turn. Seems like it's taken me about one video one tolerable length video to get a uh, get a turn in and I'm comfortable with that it's a uh, it'll, it'll work so we're gonna go ahead and jump back into the game but before I do that please consider subscribing hit that bell notification so you'll know when I'm uploading another video share with your friends if you know people who like this sort of thing I'd appreciate that and leave me a comment that's the best part I'd love to have conversations with you guys this has been Oh, my hobby for, well, longer than some of you have been alive, and uh, I, I really enjoy the social aspect of, uh, of chatting about these games. Okay, so, we'll jump right on in, and here we go. Alright, well, here we are, uh, we're at the mid-war, turn four. Uh, that means maybe more cards have been added, and uh, honestly, I've played this to completion less than I have played it. If, I guess that's a that's an odd way of saying uh, I've played two or three or four turns uh, before I quit <laughs> more than I played it to the end. So I'm not going to be as familiar with the mid and late turn cards. But uh, that's fine. It's still the same old game. Uh, take a quick look around. Uh, we have a commanding lead as uh, the U.S. If I recall correctly, 20 is a win. Now, that sounds great, but, you know, I've had, I think, two or three exceptionally good turns. And that's outside of my experience. I really kind of think we're due uh you know some disasters so i mean i'm not saying i won't go for a win i sure will i'll reach out and grab a win as quickly as the next guy but uh you know i i wouldn't be a bit surprised if uh the ussr doesn't rally and uh kick a few, little bit of sand in our eyes and set us back so let's go ahead and uh see we've got nine cards and seven rounds okay and i've held on to really crummy cards so we'll be drawing as many, and that's the kind of thing that makes me think, yeah, look, you already got two crummy ones, and only going to draw seven. Uh, if you get half good, half bad, it's going to be a tough turn. But let's see what happens. DEFCON drops to three, which does not happy me up. Uh, I kind of like to play a Brinkman uh, ship style game. I like to see the... Uh, Defcon high to stop all the uh, flipping of uh, of, uh, of of uh, control on coup and realignments. And if you think about it, here I am sitting here on three. I'll have Mel Ops to get this round or this turn also. And if he does a quick coup and kicks a coup in a battleground uh, state, I should say. It kicks the, uh, the uh, DEFCON up to two. That could be awkward for me. That could put me in a hard place to get my mill ops, which means I'll have to play around the edges in the uh, non, non battleground states. And so, yeah, you know, the game balances out, I guess. All right, headline phase. Well, okay, we've got Southeast Asia scoring. We're starting in a fair position for Southeast Asia. Right, right now it's dead even. Um, hmm. We're going to have to worry about that. I don't think that only happens once. Uh, yeah, room for play. So this is our one-time good deal in Southeast Asia. Uh, we know what decolonization is. It does nasty things in Africa. Uh, Romanian abdication. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I care. Liberation of theology. That's rough. That could turn Central America from a sideshow to something we care about. Uh, grain sales of the Soviets. Randomly choose one card from the USSR hand. Play it or return it. 
I love that picture. <laughs> Ooh, that just might be a nice um, headline. That just might be a nice headline. It's only a two ops card. Okay, Yusuri River Skirmish. If the USSR has a China card, claim it face up and available for play. Well, he has that. Now, I've made a mistake with this before. If the U.S. already has a China card, have four influences, Asian, no more than two per country. I've made a mistake with this before. If the USSR has the China card, claim it face up and available for play. That's nasty. Oh, it's a three ops, but that just might be... That just might be the, the headline. That would be stealing a five ops card in Asia. Four ops, a five in Asia. And with Southeast Asia scoring coming, that's pretty rocking. Uh, kitchen debates. If the USSR controls more battleground countries than the USSR, US controls them. Poke the opponent in chess and gain two victory points. Uh, now, how do you determine that without running around counting? Um, Central America and South America don't matter. Uh, three, okay, three to two. That's one way to look at it. So it's three to two in Europe. In the Middle East, it's one to two. So that's four and four here it's four to one so that's eight to five one to zero that's nine to five so it looks like we do control more battleground states gain two victory points Wow. Wow. That's pretty rocking. And nuclear subs. U.S. coup attempts in battleground countries do not affect DEFCON track for the remainder of the turn. Ooh. That's kind of cool. That's actually awesome. That's a, that's a big deterrent thing. So... We have nuclear subs. If we feel like making a coup or causing a coup somewhere uh, when the DEFCON status is at two, it doesn't matter. Okay, well... If we're going to need a lot of mill ops. we got seven rounds. we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards to play eight cards really because we've got to headline something and what right, we need a headline card well this is I, I could have swore I've made a mistake with this before but this is if if I'm reading it right if the USSR has the China card Claim it face up and available for play. If the U.S. has a China card, add four influence in Asia, no more than two per country. Yeah, that looks like, you know, and I don't know, you know, I'm, I feel pretty good about how I read, but um, it looks like there's a couple of ways to play this. One, we could kitchen debates headline and grab a quick two victory points. Um... Ooh, I didn't look at Cultural Revolution. If the U.S. has a China card, claim it face up and available play if the U.S. has it. Yeah, we don't want that to happen. We got both of these cards. We got, we've got, these two are mirror images of each other. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So if we play that and grab the China card, we don't need... To play that. Whew, well, at least we have it under control. We can make that decision. 
All right, well, we've been just muddling along here for seven or eight minutes while I think my way through the turn, and it really is down to... We've got three really good headline cards. That's hilarious. That's just... That's just hilarious. Um... Soviet player has no cards or returned. What? Randomly choose one card from the USSR hand. Play it or return it. Okay. If he has no cards or returned. So it's like, that's just awesome. If I'm reading that right, I can play that. Grab an event. Love it. Play it. Hate it. Return it. If I return it, then I can use it for ops. <laughs> Nasty. Okay, I'm trying not to pay attention to all these red cards in here that I'm going to have to cope with one way or the other. I uh, can't avoid bad things happening. Uh, so let's think about this. If we headline this, we will get the China card. Then we don't dare play this. Because it will... Take it straight, give it to the USSR. Um, that's a problem no matter how we play that one. If we. Uh, we know that he has the card. Now, no Asia scoring, no Middle East scoring. Europe. Southeast Asia, Central America, South America. Hmm. That makes liberation theology a real... Yeah, this is just scary all around. So, do I grab a quick two victory points and giggle? Do I grab the... Ch I can still grab the China card. I can play that as an event at any time. Um, same thing here. The question is, which one is a better... Which one's a better headline card? And I think grabbing the China card before he has a chance to do anything with it is it. So, let's headline that. Oh, look at that. He played K. We get the China card. And... I'm not sure what just happened. Let's see. He played... Should be discarded, right? Well, I, I didn't see it happen. So, he plays a coup. In Jordan... And wipes out my influence there. Yeah, that sucks. That sucks. Um, well, I want to do this nastiness here. Whew, this is such a tough game. Such a tough game. He just knocked all my influence out in the Middle East. Okay. Do I have a way back in? Just for fun, let's do this just to see. Do we have a way back in? Yes, I do. I can get back in there, so let's get out. Let's see if this card works the way I think it works. We will play it as an event. Commit. We get mid-war. All now. Play it or return it. All the players coup attempts are plus one for grand turn. All opponent coup attempts are ooh, 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 ooh. Um, yeah, you know what? We play that event. 
because I need a coup. I'm, I'm going to need a coup to run up my mill ops, and that that that's that's pretty awesome. All right, he's got his mill ops. I don't have mine. Can't lose track of that. Now this uh this hand is beginning to look awfully awfully red. Oh no, oh no. Oh, wait a minute, he did that for influence. The event didn't go off. Right, he uh he played salt negotiations and played into Southeast Asia. Which puts him in the lead there right now. Um, I may not be playing this too good right now. I keep clicking the wrong thing. I still have six. And I've got one, two, three, four that are not nasty. One of them can be space race, leaving me one to uh, get forced to play, which will be Romanian abdication, I think. Um, I need a coup. I need a coup attempt. If nothing else, to get the mill ops. And to raise the, uh, so, let's attempt a coup of Egypt. That'll get me two operations. Saudi Arabia, ooh, that sucks. Maybe I should reconsider this. <laughs> yeah, I'm running out of good ideas here because... The things I I can't possibly use that card. Who attempt Thailand? Can't do it. That's mine. What's wrong with me? Of course not. Who attempt in? It's got to be in a battleground state. Got to be in a battleground state. And it's got to be in the Middle East. That's not so hot. That's better than uh, the Saudi Arabia. It's awful in Iraq. So... It looks like we play it there. Failure. We've got mill ops. We're going to lose points on that one. Let's see where he goes. Oh, we get to place one influence. Um, why? Did I miss something in that card? No, 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 no. I played... Played nuclear subs, right? Shouldn't be removed. Uh, no. There we go. I played nuclear subs. Oh. Playing for the use player during the next scoring phase. Mid war. Is that a NORAD effect? Yes, that's NORAD. Okay, okay, I catch. I'm gonna catch up here. I'm gonna figure it out. Uh, we can play one influence. Got to keep an eye on Southeast Asia. Can't get it like. Can't get into here. Well, I don't know. Nope, nope, 
nope, I could play it here, I could play it in Malaysia. Um, which went wrong. And which would get me control of Malaysia, which would be one more non-battleground. Uh, or we could bust them in the head in the Middle East somewhere. Not really. I guess I could play into Egypt for fun. Take Malaysia. That breaks us even. Call it good. I'm saving Southeast Asia scoring. Excuse me. China card for Southeast Asia scoring. I got a bad feeling about this turn. It's just not breaking well. Oh no. That can't be good. Oh. Oh. Oh, he just stomped me in it. Uh, what did he do? Uh, it moves so fast I can't keep up with it. He played influence. Well, let's look at it here. USR plays. Ask not what. Okay. So I'm fine. doesn't matter since he played it with UN intervention all he did was grab influence and kick me in the teeth in India which is fine I'm gonna have five to play with in Asia and we still got a lot of turns to play here so let's event kitchen debates and I still have mill ops to get yuck I can get them I just won't like the way I do it I'm not sure I should have done that Fidel Lord he's making it hard Okay, to get the mill ops I need, I need another coup, but it's got to be, I don't know if I can get them, I don't think I have any place, just for fun, let's say we do a coup attempt, and it'll have to be somewhere like Sudan or Ethiopia. That'll get my operations, and that'll be good. And then I can play the China card, or I can space race cultural revolution. Liberation theology. I don't think we're going to see snow. I may, I may... <clears throat> Tough choices all around. Tough choices all around. I'm looking pretty good in Asia. Am I screwing up here? This scoring will end the game. Hey, I need to wake up. I'm in great shape. You know, why don't I just play? Oh, it's Southeast Asia scoring. That will not end the game. Asia scoring will end the game. i got to play in the Southeast Asia. Can I... Can I do anything in Southeast Asia? I can grab... Thailand, I've got... Well, just for fun, let's see what happens. Let's say we got to place influence. And uh, that takes... Four to grab Vietnam. What does that do to Southeast Asia scoring? That makes me happy. I need to learn to play the game. Um, 
that leaves me two more influence to play in Asia or South Asia, somewhere. Well, do I do that now or do I? Uh, yeah, I think I. Hmm. Hmm. The sooner I do it, the less likely he. Well, da, 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 he's got three rounds left. Okay, the way I'm thinking now is that I need to go ahead and do that. Hopefully, he doesn't score any points in the next round and doesn't break what I do there, and then I score in Southeast Asia. So let's play the China card. Let's place influence. It takes two to grab Vietnam. And we can only get two. Now back up. I should have five to play in Asia. That takes two. That takes two. Now. Oh, I don't. I, it's the same thing. Same thing, only different. It takes two to grab Vietnam. Then we have two more influence to play. And there's nowhere else in Southeast Asia that I can affect anything. I could go to India and play two, and it will not. Wait a minute. Yep, it won't change anything, but it makes it harder for him to. No, that, that's not it. Okay, I, I'm babbling, but you just gotta, you know, okay, you know, one, two there, the, the Vietnam. I could put one in Pakistan to make it. That's, okay, I'm four in Pakistan. He can, uh, he can break that with one. I'm right. Oh, I'm babbling. Vietnam, one in Pakistan. And we have one more influence that can only be played in Asia. And let's make sure it's very difficult for him to break Thailand. Call it good. And see if we can hold that for a round. This is a game winning gambit if he lets me get away with it, I think. I'm just babbling today. This is this has been challenging. Playing for influence. I think. Ho 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 ho. Here we go. Play Southeast Asia scoring. Bum ba da dum bum bum. I'm shocked. I'm absolutely shocked, and and it was right there in front of me, and I was so busy in the weeds on other things that it just wasn't apparent. But I had a winning hand from the start, assuming that I could get it past the AI. And so there you are. That is the first time I have played this game and had every turn break my way. I am amazed and pleased. Well, anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, I appreciate you taking the time. Please do leave me a comment, and uh, I'll see you again soon in some other uh, video. Hey, thanks for watching. If you click on that picture of Very Young Waz, you'll be subscribed so you'll never miss another video. Then click on that bell notification button, and please share and comment. See you again soon.